So I went from looking at nitrogen fixation to working in money markets and foreign exchange to working in a family office environment. And in those days, you didn't do really two things that were very disparate like that. You didn't just do that. These days, a lot of kids do double degrees. They'll do commerce and agriculture or something. And you can see today, 20 years later, how they're kind of fitting. I meet kids today who are doing music and business to be doing completely different disciplines and these kids are forging different paths for themselves. And definitely at the time, there were maybe only five of us at university who were doing these very weird combination degrees and then it was becoming more and more common. It enabled me then to forge a completely different and unique path. I ended up doing an honours degree in nitrogen fixation. That was the idea of getting non-legume type plants to actually fix nitrogen. People are still trying today. Then I ended up wanting to do my PhD in Sydney. So I moved up to Sydney, but I ended up getting a job for the interim and that was in financial markets at Westpac based on my uh, economics degree. Now, the reason why I did that was because at that time, this is the late 90s, there was a lot going on with the dot-com bubble, Y2K, <laughs> all these things going on and including the human genome project and financial markets everything was just it was so bubbling with energy and I, I really wanted to be part of that that human um, genome project got me inspired to go back into science again but then funnily enough when, when the human genome project um, was at its completion I had a former um, professor who was actually advising Solera at the time who were leading the race in the Human Genome Project and he called me and said, would you like to work for this guy that I know in Sydney it's <laughs> investing in biotechnology? And that's how I ended up then in um, a family office um, environment um, with a portfolio of biotechnology companies, looking at it from investing in new science, in innovation. So I was coming at it from another direction, but I could already speak the language once you go through the university process, I suppose. Reading all those papers, you end up becoming familiar with the jargon and then combining that with business. Of course, investing in, in companies was a completely new area for me, but I always liked being pushed out of my comfort zones. Welcome to Multiple Hats, a show about STEM professionals who have gone off script and carved their own path beyond the tracks that were set for them. Science, technology, engineering, mathematics, medicine, how they found their why and what it takes to make it happen. <laughs>